something. Now, I'm sure you've seen the TV programme Life of Grime, and you will know the job of an officer with environmental health is never dull. It's not a job that everybody wants to do, though. This image problem is becoming quite serious now. Fewer people are training to become officers, and there's a shortage right across the region. Sarah Yates has tonight's special report. It's the rat catchers checking for vermin at an unoccupied house in Ipswich. What we've got here, we've got some mine stones on top of the worktop there. Um, as you can see, it's quite a bad problem. It's foul, it's filthy, but not all of the time. But working as an environmental health officer is not all about scratching around after vermin. There is, in fact, a lot more to it than many people would imagine. I think there is a perception that we deal with um, sort of rats and mice and drainage work and I don't think people always see the other end of the work uh, which is food safety work, environmental protection work, noise work and health and safety work and also licensing. She says programmes like A Life of Grime have given the job a bad press and now she's not alone in finding it hard to recruit. In the past five years councils in the eastern region have lost about 40 staff every year, a further 25 qualified qualified officers are expected to leave over the next five years. Around 500 students are enrolling every year to train, but it should be 600 to meet the task in hand. This means a backlog in essential health and safety inspections like this one at the Co-op Regional Distribution Centre. Today, Andrew Loosley is advising staff how to make sure they operate safely and within the law as they transport thousands of pallets of food in and out of the warehouse. The major advantages are the fact that it's very varied. It sounds a bit of a cliche, I know, but you, you never know what you're going to get each day that you come in. So I think that's really what keeps it uh, interesting. If you're wanting to make a difference, you're wanting to make a difference to the local environment, and you're wanting to make a difference to people's health, then it could well be the profession for you. The bait to tempt trained recruits is a starting salary of up to £25,000 a year. It may not be that glam, but it's also not all about grime. Sari Yates, BBC Look East, Ipswich. You liked the inside of that fridge, didn't oh, you? Oh dear, it made me feel a bit ill actually. I'm glad I'm not eating my supper. <laughs>